everybody, um, my name is Tiffany Byers and I am a senior at Manchester University where I study public relations and peace studies and this semester I am actually in Brussels, Belgium really, for a really exciting study abroad opportunity with BCA. And for this vlog I'm just going to introduce myself, probably answer some questions that you may have about the study abroad process because I understand how it can get confusing and it's nice to hear from others about what they've done and you know hear a few pointers. So first off, why did I choose Belgium? I had a variety of reasons as to why I really enjoyed the language, as language aspect. In Brussels, um, people primarily speak Dutch and French. I live in Tervuren, where which is in Flanders, the Dutch region, so I hear it there. And so I really enjoyed the fact that I knew none of these languages, but would still be able to hear them and learn a bit more um, of them. I also liked the fact that Brussels was centrally located, so I could get to all these places within hours that I'd wanted to go my entire life, and I never thought I would have that opportunity. And so I thought that was a really good aspect. And then the third thing that I really enjoyed was the fact that Sailies offered an internship program with over 80 some organizations, and I thought it would be amazing to be able to gain an internship experience while abroad just to immerse myself more, to meet more people, to gain more opportunities, and so that's why I chose Brussels. How did I feel upon arriving? Um, I don't know about you, but when I came here on August 18th, it was my first time out of the U.S., and I was excited, I was nervous, you know, all these feelings you get when you try something new, and so I got to the airport at 8 a.m. Brussels time. I hadn't slept, I was tired, the plane ride wasn't so long, but it was pretty, you know, agonizing, um, kind of not knowing what to expect. And so my resident director was there to greet me, Frank, and um, that helped me a lot. Before you go abroad, you have a face-to-face -face meeting with your resident director, and you talk on, you know, what's going on, what to expect, what to do. You know, it helped me seeing his familiar face there. Um, it helped me calm down a lot and made me more, um, you know, excited about the opportunity rather than nervous or, um, you know, unsure of what would, what my experience would be like. Next question: How did I prepare for a semester abroad? Well, what, a lot of time. Um, I, I like to plan things ahead of time, anyways. And so, while I thought about going abroad, I started looking at into programs over a year, um, actually before I decided to come, which helped me because I saw all the opportunities. I was able to think a little bit about what I'd want to do. I was able to apply for multiple scholarships through BCA and other organizations that I wouldn't have if I didn't plan enough. And I also think that it's good because, you know, like I said, I'd never left the U.S., so I had to get a passport. And then, you know, you have to apply for a visa after your passport. And so starting all of these things early definitely helped me, you know, what I could do here, researching what I should do, researching just anything. And I think that that might be, you know, that was probably one of the best things I did um, in planning my study abroad process. So, you know, how, what am I doing? Um, I guess I'm just kind of playing it year by year. It's been a little bit over a month. And I think while I do enjoy planning, it's good to have a little bit of a plan, but it's best to play it by ear because you never know what's out there. Um, oftentimes, I end up running into things to do while I'm like looking for something specifically um, in Brussels, and I end up finding something that I would have never done. And then I'm also um, doing an internship with Serve the City, and that's helped me a lot too. I've met so many amazing people, and I've been working um, on projects and on things that I never thought I would do. And I think that this is helping me even more because Serve the City has allowed me to get into the parts of Brussels that I would not normally go to, that the average person wouldn't normally go to. And so I'm able to meet all these people and learn all of this stuff that, you know, most don't know. Um, and obviously I'm looking forward to working with them more. I'm, I'm looking forward to all the adventures that I have planned and just all the opportunities that can come my way. So yeah, that's... So yeah, that's a little bit about what I'm doing this semester. Obviously, more to come. Um, so I'll talk to you later. Um, probably share a little bit more about how my internship's going and how my home stay is. My hope.
Post Mom wanted to be in this video but didn't have enough time, so you're going to meet her next time.